just gathering some thoughts right now. Woke up this morning crying. What the fuck is going on with me? I feel so burned out, anxious, stressed. Thoughts just jumbled and all over the place. I'm questioning everything and like, why am I doing what I'm doing? All right, what is up you guys? I am feeling frisky today. I feel like my comeback has started. Mm. It was hard there for a minute. I was knocking on the door of depression. It was some personal stuff in my life, but a lot of it was COVID. I felt like I should make a video more about the mental side of things because I've been struggling with it in this period. I've felt like I'm coming out the other side of it now and I thought I'm going to share that with you guys. So I just have some tips for what to do if you're in a quarantine funk. So here we go. Do something that you have never done before. I tried CBD oil. CBD really doesn't have any psychoactive effects. It just has bodily effects. It's been shown to reduce anxiety. So I thought, let's go and get some. Shout out to the first responders on the front line saving lives. You guys are heroes. So I took it. And I did a little vlog right before I was going to bed. All right, first time ever taking CBD. Highly recommend. No lack of clarity, no mental fuzziness, just a nice bodily relaxation. And I would say some aphrodisiac qualities. I'll monitor how the progress goes. I had the best sleep I have had in months. Woo! I just finished my workout. I have not done the stairs in a few days. And I gotta say, that is the hardest I've gone in a long time. And I just put that down to being well rested and the body healing and recovering like it's supposed to. I realize I haven't been resting like I should. It's been a hard couple weeks, but I'm looking out right now on this beautiful valley, which is where I've wanted to live for a long time. I'm in my dream place and I'm happy and I have my health. And I'm so grateful for that. Can you see I'm feeling a little bit more frisky? I'm feeling good today. So I know I got a better sleep than usual because I'm not craving the second coffee of the day. That's a big deal. I'm a coffee lover. I am a caffeine fiend. And I just didn't need it. So that was pretty encouraging. It is a little bit expensive. It was like 50 bucks for a bottle. So eh, maybe, maybe on weekends. That might be how I do it. Okay, so something else you can do just to feel better is define your space. You can't control the outside world right now, so give your home a little makeover. Do something in your home that you've been wanting to do for a while. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna turn this office into a bit more of a YouTube studio. I got this cute little guy. I'm having a blackboard that I can put on the wall so I can kind of write things up for you guys and the weekly topic that I'm gonna talk about. My girlfriend has become a plant mom, which is amazing. She's nurturing these little plants and she's loving that. She's thriving on that. And I'm loving having the greenery in the house. I think it's really beautiful. Also, you know, I've been training some people more and stuff like that over Zoom. And I was like, I need a little home gym space. Let me say this corner of the house is my workout space. So that's what I got over here. I can do foam rolling and watch WWE Network or some like NFL DVDs. Yeah, I'm that guy. I like it. I got my shit figured out. It feels good. Got some pictures uh, printed up from Etsy. Shout out to my friend Robbie K, who has similar ones in his house. And I was like, dude, I am gonna steal your decor ideas. Wellington, where I was born. Uh, Sydney, where I've spent most of my life. And then Portland, where I live now. When I'm not in Los Angeles, this is my base. And uh, yeah, I love that. It's like the past, the present, and the future. So figure out what is important to you. Make sure it's connected to your goals. Is it fitness? Is it being a plant mom? Is it having your own YouTube studio and kind of optimizing that and getting a better looking video? Okay, do something that's just gonna make you laugh. Do something stupid. Like pick one of these TikTok challenges or something if you have a partner in the house or a friend and just do it. I did the makeup challenge. If you become a makeup influencer, it's because of me. Okay, well, let's not hold our breath. <laughs> All right. Ready? Yep. Drink. Drink a lot. I had so much fun. I completely forgot about the state of the world. 
and all my own BS, and I was just caught up in um, doing a really terrible job on her makeup. Take a goddamn bath. It feels good. Get one of those little bath bomb things, throw that sucker in there, and just kick back and forget your troubles and feel how nice that hot water feels on your skin. It's so simple, it's so obvious, but it works. And right now you need to do some things that just feel good for your body. This thing's gonna end, right? The world's probably never gonna be the same again, but we're gonna emerge from this one way or another. What kind of a person do you want to be on the other side of this? Because the nice thing is this is like a line of demarcation. It's like there's before COVID and after COVID. Maybe it's time to reset some goals. Maybe it's time to reset your vision of who you want to be. Maybe this has changed your vision of who you want to be. Maybe you need to update that. So I actually did something I haven't done in many years, which was a vision board, right? Cutting out images that inspire me, uh, that represent the kind of person that I want to be. And it's something I can look at before I work out. It's something that's gonna keep me on track. It's something that's gonna give me courage. It's something that's going to propel me forward. All right, guys, that's it. Just wanted to do something, like I said, that was more about the mental and the emotional rather than purely the physical because it's a holistic system. It all works together. So if you like this video, please, well, you don't know what to do, like. Uh, but please subscribe because that makes it so much easier for me to keep making these and spend the time to try and make good quality videos that are actually going to give value to you guys. I want to know as well, what are your tips for lifting your mood, getting into a more elevated mindset during quarantine? I'm sure you have some great tips. I want to see them. Leave a comment below. Guys, I will be seeing you next week. Thank you so much for watching. Mwah! Chef kiss. Actually, that's a chef kiss. See y'all soon.